Well, I'm at that stage of my hair, guys, and it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to decide if I want to go like more brunette or stay more blonde. Maybe do curtain bangs. Let me know what you guys think, because I need to do something. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing day. Today, we are gonna be playing around with, again, Allure's best of beauty for 2020, created in September. Because apparently no products get launched between September and December. It is just purely first three quarters of the year. Allure does this every single year and they put together lists of products between like their favorite high-end drugstore, nails, hair, beauty, all sorts of different categories, and they collect together what they deem to be the best of the best, the cream of the crop. And so I thought today it would be really fun to not just test out all of the products, but specifically the products from the drugstore category, the products that are in the affordable category, and just talk about them. Some I've used before, some I haven't that are brand new to me. We could do a full day wear test and just kind of see what I think and what I think is worth buying. And there are some products in here that I've already tried and I don't like, so that's gonna be fun. So let's zoom in, put some stuff on my face. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna start with the eyes today. I've already primed them because there was, there was no eye primer on the lists. I looked and I think for the eye look today, I wanna do this look that I saw on Gigi Hadid that's this beautiful, soft, but still very glam, goldy, bronze glitter look. It was just, it looks so good, so good. So to attempt this look today, we're gonna start with a palette that was on Allure's Best of Beauty and that is the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. This is a, obviously it's an eyeshadow palette that has a mix of mattes as well as shimmer shades and all of these sort of neutral tones. Um, I played around with it a little bit not a ton, but a little. So we're gonna use this for the base today. And then we're gonna go in with some glitter products after. In a little bit. First, we're gonna start with some of these matte shades. Build a little bit of a, a base, you know? I always find these lists super interesting. And I talk about this every single time I do these videos, but I'm very curious the process in, in that goes into who chooses these products. Does the product need to work for everyone? Does everyone need to have tested it and approved it for it to go on? Or is it like most people don't like it, but like three <laughs> high-end editors really love it? I don't know. Now we're going in with a slightly darker shade. I also mixed in some of that like burgundy explorer shade too. I want to see how, if, how patchy is this going to be? Is it going to be going on super smooth? Is it just going to be a pain to blend out? Let's see, like you can see that, like I'm barely putting any, any pressure on this. I'm just building really slowly. I, it's just, it's a little, it's a little tricky to blend if you're trying to get any sort of precision on this, I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm getting a little, a little frustrated. Like you see what I mean there? It's just, I've been blending this for a number of minutes. It's just not, it's not terrible, it's just not my favorite. Now before we dive into the glitter, I do want to just tightline first, and this is a product from Wet n Wild. It is their breakup proof, waterproof retractable gel liner, and they said it is hands down just absolutely amazing, doesn't budge, and I'm really excited because I had actually tested their liquid liner and I wasn't a big fan of it, and it turned out a lot of you guys really loved this line, this duo, so I'm excited because I haven't tried this one yet, and I don't know, maybe this one's amazing. It's like one of my favorite ways to get a little bit of subtle definition to the line without actually having to go in with a liner, you know? Let's see, ooh. Creamy. It's kind of like just dotting it in there. Ooh. Wow. That was that was a very creamy liner. I like that. I am barely touching my tight line and it's just like whoosh, you know? Now let's dive into the glitter. And this is the the e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow. And I have a couple of different shades and I think I want to mix and match them a little bit. I'm gonna be combining two different shades a day or I'm gonna attempt anyway. We're gonna see what that looks like. They look like this. This is the package version. This is one of my favorites. This is the 24 karat gold, and this is pinky swear. And I thought maybe this combo might be fun. We're gonna see. I'm just gonna be a like a glitter scientist here. These are very, very sparkly shades, very fun, very like Stila liquid glitter eyeshadows, you know? Let's see what this looks like. If I combine them, 
Will I like the shade? These are the questions. That's the shade right there. <laughs> I'm trying to like envision it on my eyes. I want a little bit more gold. Shed a little bit more. But that could be fun, right? That's pretty. What other colors do I have? Do I have more of these? <gasps> I do. Ooh, just another 24 karat gold and a darker shade though, so no. So now we're just going to pat it on to the inner part of the lid. Seeing if I can do it with a brush instead of using the little applicators. That's just looking like a bunch of random sparkles, so I don't like that. Just gonna have to just smear it on here. Like it's very shiny, very glittery. It's just anytime I try and like pat it in, you know, some of the base color goes away, which is kind of annoying me. I wonder what happens if I just like brighten this a bit, you know? Oh, okay, that's way better. I'm just using a bit of tea and clutch here. And just like patting it on top. I would normally just put it underneath, but you know, it was a little late for that. And that just like brought a little metallic frost to that. Yes, even a little bit of knit here. Kind of like make a transition shade. Like I know this is not on the list. It's just, <laughs> I wanted something to make it a little bit more, you know, GG Hadid. Ooh, fun, fun. Okay, let's get that other eye done now. And then I'm just gonna add like a teeny tiny little wing on the outer edge right here. This is with the Hyper Easy liner from Maybelline, which I've tried before and I really like it. This was a favorite of Allure as well. Now let's curl these lashes. Lashes like literally, they just like, all right. Lashes curled, liner on, even added in just a little bit into the breast, just a little bit. Cause there were a lot of clear drugstore products on the list. So we're gonna get to that in a second. But we're gonna start with mascara and this is by CoverGirl. This is their Lash Blast Volume Mascara. 10 times volume. I love all the mathematical claims on mascaras. 250 times, 10 times, 4,000 times thicker lashes. And this is a very popular mascara. A lot of people really love it. I don't think I've tried this one before, which kind of surprises me because you do know I love mascara. And the wand itself is super interesting. So the little bristles, they're all the silicone kind of bristles are wider towards the base and then thinner towards the tip of the wand. And there are a lot of much denser, shorter bristles altogether. So I'm curious if this is gonna like really build dramatic volume very quickly. Cause I mean, that would be great. So let's give it a go. So, so far it doesn't feel like a lot of product is being deposited onto my lashes. Yeah, that's one coat. I'm like not super impressed. Volume, I don't think so. I actually have a new drugstore mascara favorite. And I think it just like very, very recently launched. So maybe it just didn't make it like timing wise to be included for 2020, even though it did launch in 2020. But like, I'm, that's just, that's not that impressive cover girl. Let's try code number three then. I'm really trying to get this on. All right, show me drama. No, that's just like a very run of the mill mascara for me. Not that impressed. Gotta get the other eye going though. Can't just have mascara on one eye. All right, mascara is on. I will recurl these just cause I find for any mascara, it always looks so much better. Like your eyes just look so much brighter and wider and the mascara looks better. Like just that's my go-to, but I have to wait until this is dry. And in the meantime, let's set these brows down. Um, a lot of clear products, like everyone likes this, the big fluffy brows this year. Um, not a lot of like intense definition that I've noticed. So this is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. So I'm gonna use this clear gel to set everything and kind of create a nice, a nice fluffy brow or a little floof, sir, you know? Oh my gosh, don't get glitter in my brows. I like how small the wand is. I'm gonna be honest, this is very nice. What I really want is like almost like a laminated brow. Like I want it to just be really <laughs> stuck down there. No one has time for brows just like waffling in the breeze. No, no. If I'm gonna be wearing a mask, if I'm going outside or going running errands, I want my brows to be on point. Also glitter, a lot of glitter. This would look great in a Zoom call. Like, right? You could just blind everyone. <laughs> anyway, like I do appreciate how much precision I can have with this wand. It's gonna come down to how well it holds the brow all day. Like again, if it's moving around a lot, no, no, I don't want it. Oh, sorry, no, I did that wrong, sorry. I don't want it. TikTok reference? No, I think her name is Anna on TikTok. 
<laughs> she's really funny like how much time i just spent on that one brow so I, I have a lot of brow hairs <laughs> and then what i like to do once i have them in place i just kind of like smush them down with my hand it helps to lock everything and then just you know undo everything you just did rachel that's fine no no stop it rachel trying to be less of a perfectionist <laughs> it's not working well for me rachel says he needs to be less of a control freak also, Rachel spends 20 minutes on one brow. All right, now let's move on to the face. And I think for this one, I have a new powder I wanna test out and I wanna see if it's gonna work with an existing like drugstore combo I have of primer and foundation and concealer and just see how well it holds with something I already know works well, you know? Cause I feel like that way I'll really know if the powder actually did anything. So that's what we're gonna do today. And we're using all drugstore. This is the e.l.f poreless putty primer popping a little on there and then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline dream radiant liquid this is a medium coverage foundation I want to say and then for concealer we're gonna go in with my go-to like I'm almost done this tube it's insane it's a hydrating camel concealer from elf so that kind of trio I know works really well so we'll see if the powder which they say is just above and beyond phenomenal actually does anything oh I hate when I like look in a mirror and I'm like, oh, I got all the sparkles off of my face and um, I didn't. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna blend in the, it's gonna say mascara. Don't blend in the mascara. And now the foundation. This trio is great. I'm a little upset it wasn't included. There weren't many drugstore foundations and concealers actually on the list. The only one that I saw actually was the Milani two-in-one stick, but it wasn't at the stores near me, so we had to improvise. A beautiful fit. Look, look how glowy my skin is. Please, powder, be good, okay? <laughs> Don't take away this. Oh, actually, before we can even set it, I've been like talking about the setting powder, and I have to go into a cream blush product. There were two blush products actually that were affordable options. One was the blush stick by ColourPop. These are great by the way, love them. And then the other one is by Maybelline. It's the Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush. And I actually have used this before and I did not like it. I found it to be super patchy. It didn't show up well. It didn't blend well with my fingertips or with the sponge. Like I did not have a good experience with this product and it was really, really frustrating to build up anything on the skin. But in the spirit of trying things with a base that I know works really well, let's try it again. Either it'll ruin it or maybe it'll work finally. So let's build it up a little more. I was more hesitant last time around let's see if i can really like make this look great oh okay <laughs> well that's better maybe it was the base i was using maybe it just made everything not look good like this is blending much better well that's embarrassing like it's very subtle though like do you see a difference between this side which has blush and this side that doesn't like it's not a huge difference let's build it or attempt to build it okay it's starting to get patchy again see that like streaky mark right there it's not um staying down okay i stand behind what i said about this product i don't like it this one right here she's a pain she is not my favorite if you use this and you know of a better way please let a girl know because i'm always open to you know making this work better i mean i have it okay it's subtle but it is there. Maybe we'll just roll with it. I may need to build that up. But anywho, so let's go on to the powder finally. This is by CoverGirl. It is there. There's a lot of CoverGirl products here. This is the Clean Fresh Healthy Look Pressed Powder. And apparently this ha this is going to absorb oil, deliver fresh, naturally flawless looking skin. I think it has like aloe in it too that's supposed to be super soothing it's gonna make the pores look less noticeable which like i'm a big fan of i just got translucent but they do have a number of shades as well looks like this has a little mirror in here and a little puff thing you know the puff thing it's going to blend out under my eyes first make sure there's no like you know pieces of mascara like that little guy right there get out of here so i think i want a little like boop right there just like a little one all right now we're going to set away all right okay okay um please blend please blend don't be like gray okay that'd be great okay so this side i have the powder on and this side i don't so i just want to show you guys 
just after first application, what it looks like. So you can see it's definitely matter on this side than on this side. And my pores do look less noticeable. It doesn't look super chalky, which I like. So far so good. And I am picky when it comes to setting powders. They need to be perfect. Ooh, Christopher brought me a nice latte. Mm, it's still hot. <laughs> it's like a nice little pick me up, you know? Be warned though, this will leave a little bit of a white cast on your skin, the translucent one, um, versus, I, like I haven't tried any of the other shades, so I don't know how those look, but the translucent one, it does seem to blend out and disappear, but just note, let's recurl those lashes and see if I can make this mascara look real good. Okay, there we go. There's one curled and one not curled. Looks better, right? And then we're gonna go in to some bronzer. They only had a high, a couple high-end bronzers on the list for some reason. I don't know why, but our bronzer wasn't on there. It's clearly the best. And then we're gonna get into a highlight, and this is a palette. I'm just trying to get this, get the stuff on. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Da, 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 dropping things on the fur. I'm just noticing now that my eyeliner isn't super even. It's only ever one of those things that only I would ever notice, but it drives me bananas, and so I need to fix it. And then I want to add a little more shadow under the eyes here. See what I can come up with. I'm adding a little bit of Inspirer down here underneath the eyes. Just want to see if like. I even see it. This is a quick update on my skin. It's looking a little bit dry right now. So we'll see what it looks like once I put on some setting spray to kind of do it up a bit. Just a little heads up what I'm noticing. But now we're gonna get into a highlight. This is by Beauty Bakery. This is their Milk and Honey Palette. I got this, I think last year from Ulta and uh, it was on their list. So I was like, well, I haven't used it in a while and I want to bring it back out, give it another go. Cause I remember the formula being really, yeah, like super creamy. I'm wondering if I like blend a couple of shades. Oh yes. Mixed these two shades together. It's beautiful. Okay, let's put it on my face. Whoa, dropping things. Dust a little, maybe a little under the brow too. Like so pretty. Very, very nice. I mean, I'm always gonna have a favorite when it comes to highlight palette, obviously. But this one is also really pretty. Up a little in the inner corner too. And then before I throw on the lower lash mascara and the lip, let's go in with a setting spray first, kind of lock on the face makeup. I'm gonna go in, this is the Maybelline Glass Spray, which is a new one this year that I'm still kind of experimenting with. It is very, it's very glassy. The level of dewiness it's quite intense, so just be prepared. I always say I'm not gonna overdo it, and then I always overdo it. Oh, that hydrated my skin again. Oh, that's so much better. All right, lower mascara on. And now lip. There were lots of great lip products on here, actually. The Essence Shine 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 lip gloss is so good. Definitely worth the hype. Really great, like, clear gloss. Uh, I also really like the Flower Lip Mask. It's, like, almost... Vanilla E. I put some on this morning like Yeah, it's just this like warm subtle tone, but it's like really hydrating Very nice and then what we're gonna put on today is by Maybelline. This is their uh, Superstay ink crayon and I thought it'd be fun to use one of these brighter colors today. Maybe like Right, that's a fun shade. I mean, this is a little more summer and this is more fall Maybe we should go with like a fall shade. It is fall. I know oh, put some of this on woo this is a little, it's gonna be a little pink, I don't know. These are very smooth, they glide on super, super easily. They aren't the most long wearing ones that I own, but they do last a good significant period of time, especially if you like blot it, apply a little more, blot it, and like really kind of work the color onto your lips. I might warm this up with like a little kick of this orangey shade. Mm. Yes, I like it. And I might even do, I might even, you know what? We're gonna do a little, we're gonna blot it. We're gonna blot it. I do have a small baby that is gonna find this very amusing. Otherwise I'm gonna get it all over him because he's adorable and he must have all of the kisses. I love a blotted lip. Like this to me looks so much better than just like straight on putting it on. This looks like worn in and it has this like popsicle stain like effect that just, 
I just really love it. It's also a lot less work to maintain. <laughs> and there we have it guys, a fun fall drugstore look. So I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit and we'll see how everything is wearing. Just, I'm very curious about this brow product and the powder in particular, so. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like. See you in a bit. Hey guys, it's now the end of the day. This is what my makeup is looking like. And I'm gonna be honest, the um, face makeup is not great. Like everything is just sliding all over my face. It's like running under my eyes. Like you can see it's starting to get all streaky and stuff. Just mm, no. So the powder for longevity, not my favorite. Maybe it just needs to be in combination with a more mattifying setting spray. Maybe the dewy setting spray kind of reacted poorly to it, but I haven't had a problem with it with other ones, so I don't know. The liner, great. Even the brows are still like fairly in place. Like you can see it's starting to move a little over here. I think I still like my Benefit Clear Brow Gel better as well as the nude stick one. I don't know guys, today was a bit of a mixed bag. I wasn't super happy with how everything turned out. I was expecting better allure and it just didn't deliver today. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of the Allure Best of products. If you like any of them, what ones your favorites are, maybe I've missed some. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. Make sure to check out the videos on the side in case you missed any. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.